is Technomancer for zero point fuel. This is the sweet spot. I'm going to show you how the sweet spot works on this small motor and maybe you'll get a greater understanding of how that works would work in the big motor. So the way I got this wired up here, I got two batteries in parallel coming out of this. It's running off that uh, inverter there. It's 24 volts into the motor. That's the amp meter for the output. And that's the voltmeter for the output. Because I don't need to monitor the input, it's a stable power supply. So let's get started here. speed here so this is the variable control on this small motor it's a single pulse motor they're not firing in sequence or anything so if you listen it's it's kind of at a top speed here but if I turn this too slow you can hear it go down it's actually driving up the amperage and it's actually a restriction to the motor so it's throwing the timing off basically but when, you, when that gets back up to speed if I do this real quickly and I jump over that spot I'll hit the sweet spot so here we go You can hear the difference there. Now it's still consuming 1.4 amps, 1.5 amps. That's what's actually going into the batteries. It's probably consuming more than that, but that's what's going into the batteries currently. Now if I turn this down a little bit, it'll speed up even more because the sweet spot is actually a little less resistance than what it was. So, But now that that's running at max speed for this little motor here. And that is basically 23, 2300 RPM. But you can hear the difference there in, in what's going on. So at one time here, let me uh, bring this back down past the sweet spot. That's how much difference it is. Now it's running at that lower point where the amp range is about 1 amp. The charge batteries are 21. I usually charge them up to almost 25 volts. Uh, I let it hit 25 volts and then I disconnect them. They've been conditioned for so long they can handle it without a problem. But um, everything's still running cool. But what we could do here to solve this issue, one more time here. been considering how to do this on um, on the big motor because it's basically it has three separate circuits running in sequence where this only has one it's a simple solution here you could buy one of these where there was three of them connected together and run the trigger circuit through that and you would be able to adjust all three of them at the same time doing that but uh, what we could do here is what we could do is apply a boost switch you can see I have a switch here 
I disconnected it, but basically that boost switch can be set up for that other resistance level. So we take one circuit, we figure out the sweet spot on that circuit, and then we apply that across uh, the other two circuits, and then we just add a switch that triggers the other resistive level of the circuit. Um, that's kind of a wrap up of the sweet spot. So you guys know, if you got any questions, you can ask me in the forum and we'll try to cover it more in depth. I think that would push us over the thousand RPM on the big wheel. I'm not sure that's necessary because of the new generator, but you never know when we start trying to charge a house, charge this large uh, negative resistive bank, it might be something we want to consider. So.